Jack Baxter. I came to Israel in April of 2003 to do a documentary about the Arab-Israeli conflict. And I ended up doing a different kind of film about Mike's place, a live music blues bar on the Tel Aviv beachfront. I hired one of the bartenders, Joshua Fowden. Together, we set out to make a documentary that could show another side of the Middle East, to where Israelis and Arabs and Europeans and Americans all get along. The night before I was to go back home to New York City, two British nationals attacked Mike's place. One of the Al-Qaeda-linked terrorists blew himself up. He killed three people and injured more than 50, including me. Two and a half years later, our documentary, Blues by the Beach, was released. We're going to Ichilov Hospital now. Yeah. And we're gonna go visit Jack. Hey, Jack. In June of 2015, the graphic novel Joshua Fowdham and I wrote about Mike's Place was published worldwide. Joshua and I are teaming up again for a journey to Muslim communities around the world. We have much to learn and much to understand. We believe Prophet Muhammad's final address and the sentiments and the spirit of his farewell sermon can change perceptions of Muslims. That is our hope. That is our project. That is the last sermon. I got 25,000 hits out of Egypt on the Mike's Place graphic novel. I'm going through these people who they are. There's Egyptian soldiers there. There's professors and doctors in Cairo and students and they want to be able to hang out in Mike's place. And those are the people that we want to reach out to. Yeah, that, that's the crew. The last thing that Prophet Muhammad Ibn Abdullah said, peace be upon him, in the last sermon he gave, he was outside of Mecca, he had like weeks to live, so he must have known he was going out. Comes out, behold, all of the practices done in the days of ignorance are now under my feet. There is no superiority of an Arab over a non-Arab, or a non-Arab over an Arab, or a white over a black, or a black over a white, except by righteousness and piety. Contained in those sentences is the reformation that Islam needs. You cannot tell me that righteousness and piety rests within terrorism. So, have you been... if, if you see the old mosque here in our village, it's building in 1930 or 29. You see, we believe Prophet Muhammad's final address and the sentiments and the spirit of his farewell sermon can change perceptions and help crystallize the true nature and humanity of Muslims. Everyone looks at Islam from what's happening around the world, from the terrorist attacks everywhere and in Europe and the States and no one really looking inside the community. My name is Muhammad and uh, I'm proud of my name and my identity and I'm gonna do everything to show the real, real people what's really going on. The teachings of, of the religion is about doing good and it was never about killing people with knives, cutting heads and burning people. No, this is wrong.
But this was a crime that was committed in the name of Islam. The last words out of this guy's mouth was God is great. That's the last words that he heard. And tell you the truth, I was only, you know, seven or eight feet away from this guy. I mean, I got both my eardrums blown out. So ever since then, you know, one of my last memories is this guy yelling that out. If that's your God, then, you know, we got a problem because I don't think that's God. So what you're finding in the world is a majority of people who are really way off the track. And I don't mean the seller feature, I don't mean that kind of path. I mean the path of human excellence that the Quran is designed to elevate all people up to. They are way off that path. And when we hear it, it will be driven out with the force of God. And nothing on this earth can withstand the force of God. Thank you for spending these years with me as I greet you in the greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Listen, they say Muslims don't like Jews. How can that be? I'm a Muslim and the Torah is still my book. Allah says, believe in that which we revealed before you. Right. Talking to Muhammad, present mm -hmm. peace be upon him. And so if I can believe in the book, how come I can't have any relationship with the people? Mm -hmm. See, that didn't make sense to me. As a young person, that didn't make sense to me. You know, I said, do I have to give up all of these good things that I learned when I was a practicing Hebrew Israelite? The answer is no. The best of what I learned when I was a Hebrew Israelite, I spread that. The best of what I learned from my grandparents who were good Christians, I spread, spread that, that also. Yeah. The best I learned from the atheists who's practicing good moral behavior, I spread that also. Because the bottom line is, how human are you? This isn't the journey of a guy who's coming to us. We're going there. We have something to say. We have a point of view to bring to them. And we have a background, and in my opinion, we have the credibility to pull it off. Mm -hmm.